I enjoyed every part of it. I was built to be a Las Vegas showman. Um, I've been building up to this for quite a long time, and I'm finally happy that I've got the, uh, the big fights in America, and I'm crossing the pond and I'm winning. And I'm going to go back over there in October, knock out some another American, then I'm going to go back over in February and kick Deontay Wilder's ass again. And who knows? Who knows what's going to happen then? Do we know an opponent for October? Well, I'm looking at opponents. Um, ESPN won an American opponent who's well known. I suggested Jarrell Miller. Um, he's well known, he's unbeaten, he was highly ranked. Um, there's also Trevor Bryan on the list. He's uh, supposed to be fighting Manuel Char for the v for the WBA belt. Um, that's about it. There's a couple of other Americans who nobody's really heard of or they've got no reputation. So we're a bit at a rock and hard place for an opponent that's well known in the States. Obviously Wilder, but Wilder has been done for February. So we need an October opponent. So if you're American and you've got a good record and you're highly ranked and you can talk, come see the Gypsy King, I'll give you a job. And, and beyond that, of course, Wilder does have to fulfill his build-up part of the bargain. Or are you telling us that actually if Wilder did lose in the interim, you would still want to fight him? Listen, I, I, I'm over there. I've got plenty of fights left on my contract. I fight them all. It doesn't really matter. I believe I'm the best. I know I'm the best. So let them come and prove I'm not. Back at number one in the Ring Magazine ratings, may I say. Yes. The and, and, champion and, and, is back. And that's only fair, isn't it, David? On the level of his performance and because, as w one of the reasons we love this game, because you can never predict what's going to happen and who foresaw Anthony Joshua's problems 10 weeks ago, say. Yeah, the, the fact that the Ring Magazine have reinstated, that's more important, reinstated him as number one, as he was number one. And obviously he had his time out and they took the, took the belt away, but they've realized he's back on good form. He's shown that in his last fight against Schwartz. You know, it was a, a punch perfect performance and he's got his belt back. And now the world want to see number one and number two. And in February, we're going to get to see it. And everybody, like the first fight, are going to be on the edge of their seat. I can't wait for it. It's a, it's a truly intriguing fight that, you know, gets the, gets the taste buds uh, tingling. I think in a perfect world, I think Tyson will need that one more fight before Deontay Wilder. They get someone like Gerard Miller will be a be bigger and better test. But I think uh, the thing about this guy, he's getting better every time he fights. It's still his comeback trail, if anything. He wants to get back to that, that Klitschko performance. He's getting there. I think he needs one more and then going with Wilder again. Just before we move on, thank you very much for coming to talk to us again. And I'm, I'm going to try to ask you. You're looking great. You're moving great. And you move great against Schwartz. Who knows? But Who knows what the opponent might be in October? Maybe David A is going to make a comeback. I'm too old. He's looking I'm too slim. Old. He's looking in great shape. He's still good looking. He's still got it.